Let's take a look at the edge rules. So one of the really cool features of the edge rule is that it's always parallel to the edge of your stock. Uh, if you're using a traditional flat rule, one of the things you have to be concerned with is making sure that as you drop that on there, you're always parallel to your edge or you're, you can be off by as much as a 32nd of an inch. With the edge rule, when you put it on the corner, it is parallel. Zero out to the end and take your mark and you're good to go. So if we just have one mark to make it six inches, we're done. But let's say that we have half a dozen or more where we need to mark it six inches from the edge every single time. What we're gonna do there is take this optional edge rule stop, slide that on, and I'm gonna put that right at my six inch mark. Now I'm just gonna take this, drop it on the corner, bring the stop to the edge, and mark it at the end. And there's my six inches. In fact, it's even better than that. Let's take another look here and see that while I've got that, if I need that mark on the end as well as the face, I can mark them both at the same time. And if I need it on both ends or from both ends, I can just turn it over and from the top, I can do the same thing again. Now let's say that we have something where uh, we need to mark uh, from referencing from this inside corner. Uh, if we want to make the mark on this face, but our reference is here, that can be a bit of a problem with a straight rule. But with the edge rule, I'm going to drop that on. There's my index. There's my six and seven eighths. And we're good to go. Now my rail and style stock on this little face frame that I made is a little under three quarters of an inch. But I need to find the exact center of this. Well, that's not a problem. The lip here is three eighths of an inch. Okay, so if I know that I'm a little under, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take this, make a mark, then I'm gonna turn it over and make another mark. And the center of the board is exactly right between those two lines. Every time, it doesn't matter whether you're a little oversized or a little undersized, if you mark from both faces, you're always gonna end up with the exact center. It isn't easy being a professional deck builder today. One evidence? Look no further than the abundance of fastener types and proprietary tool investments that are required to simply attach deck surfaces. Some deck surfaces require clips, others plugs, and yet others a type of face fastener or another kind of side angle attachment. These methods are not easy to learn, less easy to do, and often require unwanted investments in tools that can only be used with that type of fastener or worse, with only that type of deck surface. That's nuts. And not to mention, these methods largely require you to be on your knees. Slow, not easy to learn or do, not versatile, and not easy on your body. Really, not anymore. Introducing the Camo Drive. Engineered with key insight from professionals like you, the Camo Drive is the fastest, easiest, most versatile and affordable way to attach any deck surface. The Camo Drive allows the user to get off their knees while driving any of the three most popular fastening methods. The new Camo Edge Clips, Camo Edge Screws, or the new Camo Face Screws, all at a pace up to five times faster than current methods. Really, here's how the Camo Drive works. First, attach your own drill to the Camo Drive. Yes, your drill. Next, select one of the three fastening methods, edge, clips, or face screws. Attach the corresponding guide and drive. It's that easy. For groove decking, there's no easier way to attach the deck with clips than using the camo drive with the new industry-changing camo edge clips. For use with any grooved wood, capstock, or PVC board, you simply insert the clip into the groove. Slide the next board or boards on, and then fasten the clip in one easy motion. Hey, Lucas here with 
fast cap, and I want to show you an update to our awesome flush mount drill bit system. Update is we now have these huge chip clearing holes so it doesn't get gummed up with dust when you're drilling too many holes. Flush mount drill bit system is an awesome way to countersink your screw and your cover cap perfectly so you get a perfect flush look on your finished piece every time. Easily adjustable with a micro adjust or a macro adjust. It has a one inch, eighth inch pilot bit in it and every one you buy is gonna come with some sample fast caps, some sample power head screws, an extra of each set screw, two extra pilot bits, and an extra thumb screw, as well as this handy little carrying case for all of it. Flush mount drill bit system from FastCap. Get yours today, you're gonna love this product. Just like its big brother, the miniature rotor plane has a depth adjustment knob that allows you to control the depth of cut, and a locking knob to lock the blade into place. As with Veritas's previous miniature planes, the miniature rotor plane is fully functional and excels at delicate tasks like wasting out this small square to receive an inlaid piece. The miniature rotor plane is the latest in a line of small, functional planes perfect for small scale work. The Trend Workbot True Cut, the perfect solution for out of square joints. The problem is that not all kitchen walls are square. And this can be a time consuming issue to address. Trend's Workbot True Cut, the fast, accurate, and easy solution. Use the True Cut to set your jig to cut precise out of square joints with accurate and fast results and can be used with all 12mm thick jigs. Simply butt the two worktops together and measure the gap. Set up the mail cut by making a square line as a reference datum. Fit the pins and align your jig. Fit the True Cut and position it tightly to the worktop and the edge of the jig. Mark the cut position and transfer the tapered measurement. Then position your jig to the marked line. Remove the pins and pivot the jig to the taper position. So today I'm going to be talking about the HKC Carpentry or Remodeler Saw. This saw is ideal for repeatable angle cuts. You can use it on or off any of the rails that we provide with Festool. It comes with its own FSK rails. There's three different sizes, um, the 420, the 250, and the 670. I'm just going to show you a couple quick applications of what the saw is really designed to do. First one is going to be cutting some stair strainers. Before we set my angle, on these adjustables, this adjustable stop right here, all I have to do is just bump it right up. If I'm cutting a 20 foot set of stairs, I can have that one angle set and just keep cutting the same exact angle over and over. Switched out the 18 tooth blade that the saw comes with and I put a 32 tooth blade on there because I want to show the versatility of the HKC. Uh, I've got a finished set of skirt boards right here. I've already cut some of the 45 degree miters for the risers. Now I'm just going to go back and cut from the back side, cut the, the treads out. On the HKC, I can also utilize it without the guide rails that are provided for the saw. Uh, it has a very clear viewing window right here that I can look at as I'm cutting from behind the saw. So it's pretty simple to just to make a cut. If you're looking for a saw that you're going to be doing anything from rough framing material all the way to finished skirt boards, 
the HKC would be the saw for you. 18 volt cordless remodeler saw. You can find these at online festival dealers or your local festival dealer as well. The Trend Router Surfacing Jig Easy to use for precise surfacing and flattening The Trend Router Surfacing Jig can be used to quickly and accurately surface and flatten stock up to 400mm wide and it's simple to set up Attach the four supplied rails to a base for smooth controlled routing Made from high pressure laminate and twin 12mm diameter steel rods for accuracy and durability. Materials can be secured using a non slip router mat, folding wedges, double sided tape, or cleats. The jig is ideal for uneven surfaces, including safe end grain planing and surfacing. It can be used with two rails for smaller material, four rails for larger material. And you can simply lock the cradle in position for trenching cuts. It can be used with any router that uses a 30mm guide bush and is perfect for trained routers such as the T4, T5, T7, T10 and T11.